Saddleback Leather Business Card slash Credit Card Wallet 60 Day Update. I have basically had this in my pocket, my left pocket with my keys, uh, for 60 days straight using it for work. And here's how it looks. If you remember how it looked in the unboxing video, you can see there's some dents and scratches and such. It's wrinkly. It's really, really soft. It's softened up a lot. It also feels a little bit thinner. Um, that scar that was on it when it first came looks really good still. Right now I have about four business cards on each side. I love how non-bulky it is uh, for front pocket use. Um, I used to just keep business cards either stuffed in my wallet or in my shirt pocket. And they would get the corners bent and they don't get the corners bent in here which is really nice. I have used this wallet for a... A slim wallet when I just needed like a couple IDs and a couple cards I'd put them in put a couple on each side so it's it's really coming along it's nice to use as a wallet or for business cards um, I haven't got any direct compliments from from people that don't know what it is yet they do eye it though when I pull it out they just they see that it's something unique and interesting and they kind of stare at it the whole time that I'm getting my business card out for them. Okay, here it is in a little bit different lighting. I'm trying to move it around so that you can see all the different pores and scratches in the leather. There you go. But yeah, I really like how it's getting soft. I am actually enjoyed this way more than I thought I would, if that's possible. Um, I just love how small and thin and simple it is, and I have actually didn't realize how much I was missing a business card holder in my life until I got this, because now I don't have to have them stuffed in my wallet or in my shirt pocket. It can just be in this little dedicated thing that's super thin that I just keep in my left pocket with my car keys. I've showed it to coworkers that also have business cards and give them out regularly, I've, and uh, they admire it. And in fact, I'm going to be buying them for my team. Um, if they if they achieve certain milestones, they'll be able to pick the color that they want. Okay, I have to address something that was actually a surprise from when when I ordered it and when it showed up. So, in all the pictures online on Saddleback's website, it shows the smooth side pigskin lining um, like this on the classic briefcase they show the the smooth shiny side but when it showed up it is this um, like the suede the suede version of the pigskin there we go okay I took the cards out so you can see it see how it's kind of fuzzy like a like an old suede shoe anyway I I love the fuzziness it might make it a little harder to get the cards in and out but I I think it looks it looks and feels way better. Um, this this one's nice for the briefcase just because it keeps it smooth. Um, but I, th I, th I just think this the fuzzy one looks more classy and I, I like how it feels. So anyway, that was an extremely pleasant surprise. Because if you look at the chestnut color on their website, it is definitely the smooth pigskin on the inside. So very, very happy about that. Um, I actually bought it on Amazon. Uh, on Amazon, it's also sold by Saddleback, and you'll notice that it's $27 on Amazon with free shipping, and it's fulfilled by Saddleback. Um, the picture on here also shows that it is the smooth pigskin, and so once again, I was very excited to get the, the scruffy pigskin, the suede pigskin. Also on Amazon, it shows that it was made in Old Mexico, but when it showed up, it is actually made in the USA, which again, I uh, was an extremely pleasant surprise because I would prefer that. Also, it looks like I got a sweet deal for buying it on Amazon because it is $29 on Saddleback's website for the um, built, built in the USA version. So I actually got $2 off by getting it on Amazon. Still fulfilled by Saddleback, so no worries there. Thanks for